It's been quite the year to say the least. From the beginning to the middle, and even now here at the end, we saw no shortages of quality devices. They covered the gamut too, because we had devices from the low end, mid range, and even high end segment to check out. But there are several devices that went under the radar or got lost in the translation because of the heavy saturation that we saw throughout the year. But there are a few that made some memorable impressions that we gotta talk about. Hey guys, John V from Phone Arena here. You're watching our video of our top five most underrated smartphones of 2015. First on the list is the Huawei MediaPad X2. It was announced earlier in the year during MWC 2015, and it was a seven inch device meshing both the best of a smartphone and tablet into one cohesive form factor. It was pretty compact. It also came with some top notch specs, a premium design, impressive battery life, and yes, you can make phone calls with this oversized phone. It was only priced at $400 too when it was launched. So what happened? Well, it never really took off here in the US because none of the major carriers picked it up. Also, its humongous size makes it a tough sell, especially when it's competing against some other more notable phablets. The only Windows phone to make the list is the Microsoft Lumia 640. It too was announced during MWC 2015, and it came out of the gates with a very low price point of $130 outright, and that's by itself unheard of for most phones. But being the entry level category kind of mitigated its potential in reaching a wider audience. Nowadays, you could find it for as low as $30. Now, for a budget offering, it manages to compete on almost the same level as a high end Windows phone. But being Windows phone, it automatically gives it a handicap because generally, Windows phones in general have a tougher time in garnering attention, more so when you're in the entry level class like this one. ZTE intended to make a splash here in the US market with the Axon Pro. It was announced through the halfway point of the year and it was an impressive top tier smartphone. It had great specs, dual cameras in the back, and it was attached with a pretty impressive unheard of price point of $450. Now the price point was an icing to the cake, but the reason why it kind of faded was that a little bit after its announcement, the $400 Moto X Pure Edition was introduced, so that quickly put out the flames for this handset. But don't count it out because it's still a great performer in many aspects, and it's still not going to cost you a whole lot to pick it up. So just when we were all getting comfy with the Moto X Pure Edition's low cost, we soon then were introduced to the Blue Pure XL, which came at us with an unbelievable price point of $350 outright, really undercutting the competition. And it's impressive because you're getting a Quad HD screen, 64 gigabytes of storage, MediaTek's X10 processor, three gigabytes of RAM. It had a replaceable battery, a 24 megapixel rear camera. It was also unlocked, dual SIM, and yes, it even had a fingerprint sensor too. But unfortunately, it's just the reputation of Blue that didn't really allow this smartphone to be as compelling as it was. But either way, it's still a great smartphone with a lot of features. And that leads us to our most underrated phone of 2015, and that award goes to the Asus Zenfone 2. It was also released during the spring, and there were two versions from the onset. You had a starting cost of $200, but the slightly better spec one was at $300. And with that, it was a mid-ranger that featured a 5.5 inch 1080p display. You had an Intel Atom chip in there, four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, a 3000 milliamp hour battery with rapid charge, and a 13 megapixel camera. We also enjoyed the updated Zen UI experience. It was pretty rich, as well as the convincing um, photo taking experience. If you love taking photos, you'll really appreciate the vast diversity of shooting modes it offers. Now, why is it the most underrated phone? Well, that's because of the saturation that we saw in the mid-range market throughout the year. Before its release here in the US, we already saw top-notch mid-rangers like the Alcatel One Touch Idol 3, as well as the P8 Lite were coming with some really nice price points too. And then after the announcement of the Zenfone 2, later on in the year, we had the 2015 made Moto G. So it kind of got lost in all that, but don't deny that this Asus Zenfone 2 offers a very compelling package.